Live from New York could be no more. There's speculation NBC's Saturday Night Live could be ending after its 50th season. With falling ratings and Lauren Michaels' contract ending, Studio 8H might actually close its doors. Fox News Radio host Jimmy Fallon is here to discuss. Jimmy, I just want to play one thing. This is Kenan Thompson talking about how it might be canceled. Okay. There could be a lot of validity to that rumor because 50 is a good number to stop at. It's a good opportunity for NBC to save money as well, you know what I'm saying? So maybe they might slash the budget. And then at that point, you can't really do the same kind of show. Wow. I now, mean, Jimmy, is... I had a 50-year birthday last month. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good time to stop. Yeah, there's no talk to cancel you, Dana. I just, just so we're clear, everybody <laughs> wants you to keep going. At least not yet. Yeah, the SNL thing, it's a heavy topic as a comedian because, number one, this is probably the most uh, popular comedy show in New York outside of The View, but SNL was intentionally funny, which is a starter. But I think there is validity to what Keenan is saying in that SNL should probably just quit now while they're still culturally relevant. Because as you said in the intro, the ratings have gone downhill and the show doesn't have the cachet it once did because it's taken a lot of its comedy and turned it into political activism. Like if you think of how this show used to launch stars, in the last five years, the most famous person on the show is Pete Davidson and he's not famous for doing sketches, he's famous for doing Kim Kardashian. So I think there is something there. And when, and when you compound that with the fact that Lauren could be leaving, what Keenan is basically saying is they can't protect their creative process from corporate oversight without a titan who has forced everybody to keep their mitts off the process. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem with comedy, Dana, is if you get too many voices involved, comedy's like a cat. If you're dissecting it, it's dead. So I could see where it would be strategically smart for the legacy of the show to end before it gets corporatized. That's pretty, it's, it's interesting, we'll have to see. In the meantime, we'll all just watch exclamation point and get our laughs there. Also, <laughs> Governor Newsom of California, he's basically, basically saying, if you're in a Republican-controlled state, you should not film in those states if they have anti-liberal values. Basically, his ad said that, so to those in power to make decisions about where to film, where to hire, where to open new offices, we in California say, walk the walk, choose freedom, choose creativity, choose California. But there's a lot of companies that want yeah. to film outside of California for good reason. Of, of course, and this is why Newsom is doing this. He'd rather talk about other states than talk about why they're fleeing his state to begin with. Okay, if you want movies to come back to California, a state that is being fled more than any other state in the country because of crime and homelessness, you don't have to yell at production companies about abortion rights. Just make sure the camera crew doesn't get mugged by a wizard while they're setting up on Lincoln Boulevard, because that's the issue. They're fleeing California because, one, it isn't a business-friendly climate, but, two, they don't feel safe. Nobody wants to film a crime movie where they might be a victim of a crime during the shooting. This is true. You speak truths, and we love having you. Have a great weekend, Jimmy. Oh, Dana, you too. Take care. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.